What's up everybody? Today we have a special delivery. We got another box in the mail. Today I'm wearing the 9161 mystery boot. I <laughs> have no idea what it is. Okay, uh, here we go. Let's open this up. I can't remember. Someone, I, I wish I could remember. Someone reached out and said, hey, uh, Nordstrom, this is Nordstrom Rack, has these boots. Uh, check them out. Thank you. I can't remember who it was, but thank you. Always, you guys give me the heads up about a sale, or you see a red ring boot here, red ring boot there, letting me know. Thank you guys so much. So, here we go. In the box, what arrived? Oh, no knife. Just glue, no knife. <laughs> I need to work out, <laughs> apparently. Okay, here we go. Get rid of this box. Oh, man. All right, we have the. 8882 Mokto in the Navy Portage. There we go. So, it's a nice looking boot. Just inspect it really quickly. I have not seen these in a while. So, the story with these, with me and the 8882, let's check out the other one. Kind of cool looking. I'll give them that. They are cool. I hesitate and I'll tell you why. Okay. So, I tried these on many moons ago at the Red Wing store in Queens. And I, when they first came out, I saw, I think I saw them on the, on the site, on the Red Wing site. And I thought, gotta have them. Went to Red Wing in Queens, tried them on, did not like the way they looked at all. I. I think the blue was too flashy for me. So, uh, looked at them in the mirror and I was like, yeah, I'm not gonna buy these. So I think I left with a pair of blacksmiths at the time. Um, how many years later? Five years later, I guess, six years later. Uh, they're back, they're here. And I thought, why not? Let's buy them. They were Nordstrom Rack, they were much, uh, less expensive than uh, the what I guess they were like 280 at the time maybe um, and I got them for you know 160 or whatever it was 150 at Nordstrom Rack because the idea is just to change the sole so I thought they were a little too flashy with the blue and the white sole so I was like I'll buy them and just change it to a Vibram lug sole that's the idea um, I'm gonna put them on feet again and look at them and see what I think, <laughs> but um, yeah, I don't know. And then, if you're looking behind me, woo, 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 you see this one here. This is the 8859 Navy. So this is Indigo uh, Portage. This is the Navy Portage. So you know where, you know what's going on. You know what I'm gonna do. We're definitely gonna do a comparison, for sure. Just gotta wait on that one. But uh, let's lace this boot up. Let's take a closer look at the 8883 Mokto in the Indigo Portage leather. Okay, here is the Red Wing 8882 in the Indigo Portage leather. We have the Goodyear Welt Traction Tread outsole on these, um, nickel eyelets all the way up to the top, and the triple stitch in the Indigo. So you. When I have those uh, denim hang days, I can go indigo down to the socks. Yes. Now, let's look inside this lovely, lovely boot. So I'm curious, I saw these, like I said before, many moons ago at the Red Wing store in Queens, tried them on, was like, passed, it was too much for me. Um, these were made, uh, what are we talking here? Uh, these were made last year, the 18th, March, no, I'm sorry, May 18th. So these are fairly new, which to me is shocking because I thought that, whoa, whoa, these have leather laces in them. Wow, that's cool. They came with two laces. How about that? Let's see what else is going on in here. Uh, thank you, Nadine, for inspecting the boots. Let's check out the inside of this indigo here. So we have the um, uh, leather in, leather insole in the boot and the inside of this uh, 
Portage leather here and um, mock toes are all leather lined so which is nice it makes them very comfortable so yeah that's so cool that these are came with another set of laces from Nordstrom rack that and these are not seconds what what is going on okay so um, I'm gonna show you guys the 8859 next to the 8883 okay so here is the 8859 Navy Portage, and this is the 8883 Indigo Portage. So I'm definitely gonna do a comparison in the daylight for you guys. Just wanted to do this quick little thing thing here for you. <laughs> I'm really excited about a leather laces that's so cool i don't know which one would look better but i really like that i've seen blue laces in these blue flat laces which look really cool um even white leather laces would look cool but i think that to me is even more flashy than having blue <laughs> indigo leather boots but um yeah if you really want to go out there and, and throw in some white leather laces uh, go for it i think that would be pretty cool let me grab this one um it's all laced up but yeah, I can't believe this. This is such a great deal. And I guess, we'll see. We'll see if I wear these or not. Uh, or they are like, you know, the uh, Skagway um, mock toes that I have that I've only been out maybe three times, maybe tops three. Um, so uh, yeah, this is a, a good one to add to the collection. And I, I have seen the black, the version with the black um, traction tread was, looks really cool as well. Um, I'm thinking of going with the Vibram lug sole on these uh, just to make them look a little bit we'll see i'm going to put these on feet and we'll see how i um, react to them all these years later okay let's do the on feet so i first day i wore these i did two days in a row non-stop and i was like i'm throwing on some white pants so these are from actually grown and sewn i went to grown and sewn red wing in tribeca and um, picked up these uh, white chinos for the summer and i was like yo put them with the blue boots look at that <laughs> just being super flashy but i think they look good and those blue laces bam look at that i had to do it they look absolutely amazing with the blue laces and these blue tiles with the blue boots i couldn't resist i had to do it these are uh, scotch and soda chinos that i have and i thought these look really cool too because they were kind of like a, a greenish color and really complemented the boot so when i was at that denim festival both of the red wing reps had on 8882s i was like no way that's so cool uh i had to uh, shoot their their boots because i was like this is amazing all three of us had on the 8882 so here we go uh denim salvage with the 8882 looking good and um i i really like the boot i it totally grew on me since the last time I put it on. And I know I was like, I don't know, it's too flashy, too flashy, but now that I've worn it with, um, I like it more, I, I should say, with a chino than I do with a uh, denim. I don't know why, it just, it looks, um, to me, it just looks better. But uh, for all, the, you know, I, I really enjoy denim. Denim, salvage denim is awesome. But um, so I had to, you know, put the combo together for you guys. But if I were to wear it, um like i showed you it was with chinos um these are the gray canvas chino uh by grown and sewn which are extremely comfortable and i think the blue and gray really complement each other and i i don't think i no i have i didn't wear that combo yet I, um, but i did want to show you guys okay so that is the red wing 8882 mock toe in the indigo portage leather thank you so much for watching and remember be a boot see you guys next time So here are the 2953. I brought them out in uh, natural light so you can see how the mink oil has dried on the boot. I think they look really good. I'll show you the other one. I wanted to show you in natural light instead of using the uh, usual uh, LED lights that I use just so that you can see how the boots actually look. And I think they look pretty cool. So the leather looks pretty even now, now that the mink oil has dried. But they definitely did, uh, got darker.
Just another angle of the inside of that boot. And the other one. As I said when I did the video that I don't really wear these that much, I think they turned out really cool. I know I was uh, initially quite uh, afraid of what might happen, but I actually don't mind how they look now. The one thing that I did notice is that the top part of the boot here got a bit darker. It looks like I may have coated a bit too much here versus this other one. I don't, it can't, it's not really showing up on camera as much as I see in person, but I think if you are going to do this to your Hawthorne leather, um, if you go too thick, you're gonna see, I don't know, it looks kind of like um, it's just dirty. So I'm gonna try and rub some of that out and see if I can spread some of that, if it's still in there. But uh, I don't know if it's showing up on camera as it is in person here, but it's kind of like, let's see, I'll point it out. This section here. Right here. It looked, I think I got a little too generous in that spot and it just made it look really dark. So I'm gonna try and um, brush some of that out, see if it's possible. But I would say that's the only downside to um, the boot. Everything else I think looks really good.